All right, as you can see, our two electrodes have been in the cupric uh, chloride solution for about the last three minutes. Quite a change has happened. You might have noticed the start of some discoloration when I first put my electrodes into the solution, but now notice how the two electrodes appear different. I'm gonna take this, actually I'm gonna detach my alligator clips first, very carefully here. And then I'm gonna remove my um, electrodes from the solution. Notice how much precipitate fell off of this electrode right here. If we look at it more closely, you'll notice a difference in the texture between the electrode on the right and the electrode on the left. Um, I also want you to just very quickly note the solution here. Comparing the two videos, do you think anything has changed in the solution from the time that we started until now? The last thing that I want to show you is all three of the compounds or the solutions that we've worked with today. So this is the cupric chloride solution that we started with. In the process of electrolysis, theoretically, we separated the copper from the chlorine. Now, taking one last look at our electrodes, which one do you think holds all the copper and which do you think holds all the chlorine? Those are the types of questions that I'm gonna ask you in the um, form right below this video. Do your best, think about what might have happened, think about what chemical and physical changes have occurred. Remember the characteristic property that we use in order to separate copper from the compounds it's attached to.